So as I'm sitting here in the dark uh, in the car and looking at the lamppost, the street light, sometimes when it's the darkest in your life, a little light is all that is needed to, to focus on. Sometimes we want the light shining so bright, but when we are in birthing stages of our lives, when we are in the womb of something, when we are in the cocoon of a process, when we have been buried and yet being ready to spring up from under the ground, a little light is all that you need for that moment. Daybreak comes fully when in its time. But when we, as the Bible says, let patience have its perfect work, we will be complete and lacking nothing. So focusing on just a little bit of light that is shining gives you enough hope to know that there is not just light ahead, light at the end of the tunnel, there's light now. One of the core areas that I have um, brought to awareness in, whether it's people I've worked with, in their dark nights of the soul, I came up with a process called the soul's illumination journey, where you don't focus so much on the darkness, you focus on the light within you. Focus on that light being more illuminated so that you can come to know and understand exactly who you are. And sometimes it is in the darkest times where that refinement comes in, where your realignment takes place, where you start to understand, again, who you are, but on a completely different level, a new level of who you are. And just like the, the saying, a little dab of do you, sometimes a little light, a little light will be enough to carry you through your season. Appreciate that little light. Appreciate that that light is there and that it's not completely dark. And that light can look differently for everyone. Some of you, it may come just in a, a glimmer of hope, a vision that you were given from God to birth a dream, but yet it's not here. It's still in the womb. The womb is dark. But the light or enlightenment, if you will, in terms of the idea and having something to work towards is enough light. It's enough light. You have to allow it to be enough light. But then as I said, focus on the light that's within you, the light that wants to come through. You can focus on that as the, the Christ light within you to be the salt and light of the world or what, whatever you subscribe to in a sense. How does your enlightenment lead to illumination? So again, Focusing on the light. You know, the, the song, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. But your little light can be big. We would be amazed at what is contained within a little light. But that little light eventually can brighten up an entire space. But in the seasons when it's the darkest a new light is wanting to come forth. A new light is being cultivated and that is what will break forth. Sometimes as long as we're focused on light being a certain way and things shifting and getting better, we, you know, we long for things to return to the way they were or we long for a new and improved version of something. But a new light that you're not familiar with wants to come forth. And it's in the dark times. You think about a diamond. A diamond is buried within the darkest, deepest parts of the earth. Or gold is buried in those dark parts. It's the coal. It's dark in there, but pressures of life mined 
the diamonds and the gold out of the coal, out of the depths. And so when you allow your mining process in the darkness to bring forth this new illumination, this new light, you will appreciate those dark nights that you were in. You will appreciate why things sometimes didn't work out because there was something better in life was giving you the indication that there was more emerging and not to settle. So again, sometimes focusing on that little light and reflecting back to yourself how much you've grown. You need to look at your light and what is new about your light now. What is new and different about you than before you were in a dark place or before the world got what seems to be more darkened. What do you now know about truth? What has been illuminated to you? How has that refined you and brought you into a new awareness of yourself? How has that changed you? How have your circumstances changed you for the better and not for the worse? How did you become better and not bitter through betrayals, through different things that happened to you? Hmm? So just focus on that light, that new light that has now refined you and reshaped you, realigned you, reset you, repositioned you. <laughs> and now it can relaunch you into this new light of your life. So focus on your new light.